Hi, today we are going to discuss the important lessons learned from our Civic Mirror experiences in Opatopia and West Korea. Civic Mirror gave us many experiences that clean the window that symbolizes our perspective of the real world. Shy folks such as ourselves have learned a valuable lesson about the consequences of not speaking up. The government in Civic Mirror was created with the purpose of having students actively interact in simulated government affairs and events. In the legislative and town hall event, students were given the opportunities to speak to voice opinions and ideas about current issues in the government. In both West Korea and Opatopia, there were many citizens who were very vocal about their views and often they were the ones with the most influence in the government. In a democracy, the purpose is to have all the citizens' voices heard and to come to a compromise that will benefit the good of the country. However, with the lesser spoken citizens of both countries who chose not to be as vocal or weren't able to be vocal, suffered because legislation passed that wasn't always in favor of what they might have thought. For example, the common publicans of West Korea in the winter event of 2000 didn't speak out against any of the bills presented by the government that went against their political platform. As a result, the people of that party were dissatisfied with the bills that were passed, only coming out later and voicing what they really thought. Such a tragic story. This also happened in Opatopia as members of the Manti Shrimp Party completely crushed the voices of P4 Boo. As a result, the first Civic Mirror year was free for all with no taxes or price caps. This led to much displeasure from P4 Boo. You can't really trust anyone, but at the same time you have to trust them enough to be able to take risks that will maintain your standing in society. Even a president who has made promises to the citizens can be found untrustworthy. Presidents will do anything to gain the people's trust because they have two, they too have ulterior motives. President Mason James for Opatopia betrayed all the trusting citizens by appointing a judge who was in conspiracy with the president and vice president, and they had a plan to totally sabotage the government. These eco-terrorists deceived the fantastic people of Opatopia for their own gain. This goes to show how corrupt a society may be, even though it looks picture perfect. Despite the people such as these in the government, you still have to be willing to take risks. If you aren't willing to take the occasional risk, you may be held back from getting what is necessary for the well-being and economic standing you require to be successful. In West Korea, there was a lot of untrustworthy people during the spring events. They would set unfair prices, try to swindle people, and generally disrupt economic flow. However, in order to obtain the essentials necessary to live, you need to be willing to take these risks. Biases were a huge influence over the actions of certain citizens in Civic Mirror. Political parties created a line between the citizens and caused unfair judgment to be passed, which in turn created civil disputes. And Jeff v. Austin, Jeff accused Austin of selling his health care with a bias based on political parties. Austin was proven innocent, but this case still proves the tensions between the parties. The hidden agendas were also a big influencer over citizens' views and actions. Students would do anything to fulfill their hidden agenda objectives, even if that meant disturbing economic flow and government affairs. This caused students to be hostile and mistrusting of their peers, especially in cases of certain hidden agendas. As a result, events such as the legislative event would be harder to manage and run efficiently, creating problems later on in the year for some citizens. Speaking as a fascist, I was untrusting of my fellow citizens. If certain key people found out, they would have made my Civic Mirror experience horrible. Overall, our time in si and experiences in Civic Mirror have taught us many valuable lessons that we will be able to take with us and apply to real world events and problems. And with that, we conclude our discussion of our Civic Mirror reflection.